Hi, I'm Sharon DiGiulio. Welcome to a free art lesson on direct image transfers. Uh, these are great. They're lots of fun to do. There's all kinds of different surfaces that you can do them onto and uh, different products that you can use to get them there. So um, it, it is addicting, so um, beware of that. Now, uh, first of all, we're going to talk about some surfaces. Here I have just your simple, basic watercolor paper. Uh, this is clay board. Basically, it is masonite board on the back, and then it's got a slick, this particular one is a nice, slick, smooth surface, so it'll hold lots of detail on there. Um, then I have just regular raw canvas or muslin, and then some linen. I've never um, done a transfer onto this, but we're going to try it anyway. And it, again, you can do this on canvas board, regular canvas, um, any kind of paper you want to. And I'll show you how to do that. Right here I have um, Xerox copies. This is a picture that I took in the Bahamas. And now if there's any writing on your transfers that you want to make, you want to flip your image first in some kind of program that you have on your computer. Um, print it out of your inkjet or laser printer. And then I use Xerox copies. Those are the, that's what I found the best just because it's the, you're transferring that toner and um, you're allowing that toner to sit in a gel. So I'll show you what I mean in just one sec. Um, here are some finished pieces that I did on, this is Clayboard, a Xerox um, copy onto Clayboard using a gel medium. And again, here's a, you can see this is one that I've done from this image onto the Clayboard. And I'll show you all that stuff in a sec. Okay, now what we want to do, let's start with a regular gel matte medium. What I'm going to do is take my watercolor paper and just take a hunk of this stuff. And you want to put this on fairly thickly, like um, at least a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch. And cover the surface to, uh, so that it will accommodate your entire image or the image that you want to transfer anyway. So just put a nice thick layer of this onto your surface. Don't be shy. Actually, I'm going to push some more on there. Go like so. And then you want to put your uh, brush back in the water real quickly or the gel will dry in there. Now, uh, what you want to do here is take your image, set it onto the paper, and then smoosh it down with your finger just so it makes contact everywhere. Start in the center and just sort of bring it to the edges like that. Just put it down. And again, what you're doing is you're transferring that toner into the gel. So you just go like this. And then I usually take a credit card and make sure I make complete contact. Just squeegee it across there like so. Okay, now here's the hard part. Now you have to set this aside for like 24 hours and wait. Wait, wait, wait. So now we're going to try another surface. This again is the clay board. Grab another brush. Some, oh, actually, I'm going to try a different medium just to show the differences. This is a um, fine pumice gel. And this has sort of a gray look to it. And I was, I read somewhere about this and I thought, I'm going to try that stuff. So I did. And it's kind of cool. If you don't care about the color of it, because again, it's got a gray sheen to it. Just like so. Try and get that as smooth as possible on there, but nice and thick still. You want your eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch or so. Wipe that off. Again, take your image and set it on in there. Smear it down, starting from the center. You want, again, you want to make contact, but you don't want to smear the image because that toner is sort of loose and um, it'll go right onto there. So you want to create a surface or, um, yeah, create a surface for that'll accommodate that toner. And surprisingly, it shows a lot of detail too, which is sort of neat. Okay. 
squeegee it across. And then set that one aside. Now let's try this one. And we'll do, this one is a gloss super heavy gel. Just showing you that it can be done with pretty much any medium and on pretty much any surface too. Um, you could also tape off the edges if you wanted a nice clean edge, but when I use these pieces in my collages, I either tear them or cut them or, you know, use parts of them or whatever, so it doesn't really matter to me. Just paint this on there nice and thickly. And it depends too if you want your, um, if you want a, a matte finish or a gloss finish. But just experiment, it was, it's really a lot of fun. I just tried every kind of medium I had on my shelf that I was using already and then bought some more that I was like, oh, maybe that'll work. And I've had the most success with the uh, Xerox copies. You can also do it, though, with, um, uh, with the inkjet prints and laser prints as well. Okay. So we're going to go squeegee this on through. Set that one aside. Then I've got one more. This is the one that I've never done before. This surface I haven't used before, so we'll just try it together. I'm not afraid. This one is the Matte Super Heavy Gel. It's kind of flimsy. Just like so. And then we'll put this on here. This will be nice too. We'll be able to reveal the differences. Squeegee. Make some nice contact there. And then just set that aside. Now, I've got some uh, that I did the other day that I'm going to reveal to you now. This one I use the super uh, gloss super heavy gel on this is um, like a canvas paper and some photographs that I had. And what you want to do is you want to saturate your substrate. If it's not something that you can fit into um, a bowl like this or if it's on a cardboard backing, then you want to put a washcloth over top of it. So um, you can see your image starting to come through. And then once that does, then you just start rubbing gently. And what you're doing is you're rubbing the paper off. And you want to keep your image, your uh, toner will stay in the gel. And then you'll start to reveal your image. Sometimes you can use a toothbrush or, um, you know, a little scrubby sponge on there to help get that surface off of there. But again, this is a great way to use your old photos. This is a photo of my mom and dad skiing. We did that a lot. But see, you can see how that's starting to reveal itself there. Um, here's some others that I've done in the past. This is on watercolor paper. This one, you'll see how it has um, the little bit of white sheen to it left. That just means that I haven't rubbed all of the paper off just yet. You should be able to get it down just as black as your black was on your Xerox copy. So have a blast with these. You can just keep going and going and use any kind of medium you have available.